Python. So the library is called uh, GPP uh, eval, which stands for Geo geothermal uh, potential, geothermal project potential evaluation. Uh, it's done by one of the Japanese institutes, uh, which were also looking in, uh, in Latin America uh, projects. And uh, the um, way it works, we can uh, put everything in the CSP file, uh, all the parameters and distributions in the, in the, in the, in a, in a, in a text file and, and, and save it as uh, CSV. So again, we are putting the minimum, uh, min and maximum, and we put the type of the distribution. Here it's triangular or constant or log normal. Um, and we um, basically need to handle all the parameters which were, which were included in, um, in the, in, uh, in that uh, uh, field example I've shown. Or we can directly put the uh, uh, properties into the uh, into the code. Um, basically, we need to import a um, number of libraries, uh, including. Let me see if it's here. Well, we uh, import the library for um, uh, for to generate the plots. We also install the library called IAPWS. It stands for International Association for uh, Properties of uh, Water and Steam. Why it's international? Because uh, well, different countries eventually uh, for uh, for decades uh, had their um, units and measurements done on different steam tables, uh, and this is one which is agreed. Kind of. Um, that's important because we need to convert the uh, our mass and heat uh, capacity into enthalpy and calculate the amount of energy which is which is in the system. And this library is very good because it has all the steam uh, tables, all the steam parameters to do that. Then we install the library uh, itself, GPP eval, and. Um, uh, we can either load the CSV file, either put the properties uh, directly uh, in, the, in the code. Um, and uh, then we are able to plot the um, uh, distribution, which gives us uh, the, uh, uh, you can put a number of iterations. That's also important. It will change a bit the picture, but uh, Generally, you're getting uh, your uh, uh, distribution and P50, P10, P, uh, P90, P95, whatever. Uh, and this is good because this is essentially gives you the range of the of the uh, outcome for your project. It's very good when you're doing evaluation and you have uncertain parameters like area, like thickness, like uh, recovery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and you need to understand what are the endpoints for, for your evaluation. Um, to run the code uh, manually, you can also use the commands like, uh, like here. For example, if we change the project life to from 25 to 20 years, we, uh, we, 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 we run again, we're getting to another distribution and another numbers. Uh, but basically this is a very straightforward, very uh, quick estimate, but uh, gives you enough of um, uh, enough of um, picture to, 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 have a, to, ha to have a distribution again. So for that particular project, I'm going back to the presentation. We estimate the P, um, the, the most likely reserves at uh, 75.7 megawatt electric, which is very good. Essentially, everything which is around, uh, you've, you've seen the examples of projects of 50 megawatt uh, or even uh, lower than that, 25 even, and even 20, you can put the plant at uh, that capacity. Um, so the 95% proven reserves for that area are 40. Point four, uh, which is uh, which which is which is uh, which which is excellent, and maximum reserves around hundred. 
Um, and this is a good tool, which is standard. Uh, you can, if you have a number of projects, you can uh, compare, you can run uh, uh, the evaluations for, uh, for, uh, for uh, several projects and compare. Um, I think this is it. I'm getting close to the end of my 